Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in saluting members of the North Carolina Central University graduates and professional class for 2018. Please look around and notice where the exits are located. You may be seated. <laughs> Emergency personnel are on duty to assist should the need arise. Candidates for degrees within view of their families and other guests are here assembled to be recognized for having stayed the course of academic rigor in accordance with the procedures and policies of North Carolina Central University. They are the honorees for this hour. Please join me again in applauding them. I declare our 131st commencement exercises open. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the Chancellor, Johnson O. Akinley. Good afternoon. As we begin, these commencement exercises, <clears throat> I have three simple requests. Please turn off your mobile phones or place them on silent. Please do not obstruct the view of others by standing when not requested to do so. Please allow all graduates to enjoy the moment when, when their names are called, and try to refrain from excessive celebration. I try. We want everyone, we want everyone to be able to enjoy this memorable day. Welcome to North Carolina Central University and to the 131st commencement exercises. My gratitude goes out to the faculty and staff for all of their hard work in making this day a reality for more than 430 graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2018. NCCU is designated a military-friendly institution because we make a significant effort to accommodate our veterans. With all graduates who are also veterans, please stand to be recognized. All graduates who are veterans, please give them a round of applause. We thank you for your service to our country. Will Ms. Changia Liu please stand? Ms. Changia Liu. Ms. Changia Liu, a native of Beijing, China, is no stranger to being a trailblazer. Not only is she the first in her family to attend graduate school in the United States, but she is also the first graduate of the bilingual speech language pathologist training program. This, this is a newly established 
partnership between NCCU's School of Education and Beijing Language and Cultural University. These future speech pathologists obtain a bachelor's degree in plant science and technology, and I also studied horticulture as an exchange student in Netherlands. While there, she volunteered as an instructor of Chinese language and calligraphy. It was this experience that helped her realize the beauty of language and desire to study linguistics. Upon returning to China, Chen Jie began graduate studies in linguistics and language processing at Beijing Language and Cultural University. During her final semester, a professor introduced her to the newly formed partnership between NCCU School of Education, and she knew she couldn't pass up the opportunity. Ms. Chen Chiu Liu is the first graduate of our partnership with Beijing Language and Cultural University. You can give her a round of applause again. <laughs> Upon receiving her master's degree in communication science and disorders, Chen Jie will work as a speech pathologist for the Onslow County School System in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Chen Jie said, and I quote, the most memorable aspect of attending NCCU is realizing that I could solve unexpected challenges and make impossible dreams possible, end quote. And she has done that and much more. Congratulations again on your success. Thank you, and you may be seated. We would like to pause to celebrate the parents and extended family members of the class of 2018. Each of you have helped our graduates to get to this point in their lives. Your dedication, sacrifice, and support have helped them to complete their studies and make their dreams a reality. Thank you for encouraging our graduates to truly dream big and achieve their goals. To members of the faculty, your hard work inside and outside the classroom molds our scholars and prepares them to excel not only in, the, in their chosen profession, but in life. Thank you for your dedication to NCCU. To our staff and administrators, you help guide our institution forward. Thank you for being instrumental in ensuring student success at NCCU. To our Eagle alumni and members of the NCCU Alumni Association, Inc., you serve as some of our most passionate advocates in recruiting scholars and giving, them, giving back to your alma mater. Our thanks for helping North Carolina Central University thrive. Graduates, please take a moment to stand and salute your moms, your dad, partners, spouses, family, and professors. These, these, are, these are the individuals. These are the individuals who have helped you to get to this place that we now celebrate today. A degree that will open new doors of opportunity. Congratulations and welcome to Spring Commencement 2018. The Reverend Sarah Woodard, deacon at St. Titus Episcopal Church, will provide reflections after which the program will proceed as printed. Mark, in his gospel, wrote, From what shall it profit a man or woman 
if they gain the whole world and lose their souls. While John teaches us about sanctifying people in truth, these scriptures epitomize the North Carolina Central University motto of truth and service. It's graduation day. Let's rejoice and be glad. But what will you do now? I hope that you will tell the truth about everything and be fair to everyone. Build goodwill and better relationships that are beneficial for everyone. Remember, integrity is honesty and reliability that promotes the common good, allowing everyone the opportunity to succeed. It's defined as the sum total of social conditions. Avoid the pervasive temptations of individualism and self-interest. The most pressing demands of the common good is the persistent conversion of hearts when we realize that we don't exist merely for ourselves. Now steeped in a life oriented toward discovery and learning, look at love and kindness as virtues. Let the luminous part of you that exists beyond personality, your humanity, shine brightly. Believe that your soul exists, come to know it better, and share its fruits with others. And in the words of Rudyard Kipling, and I quote, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when others doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, and if you can talk with crowds, all crowds of people, and keep your virtue, or walk with kings and not lose the common touch. End quote. That's what it's all about. So lean in. Bloom where you are planted. Uproot yourselves from time to time. Try something new. Recognize your gifts and those of others. Most of all, do good. Goodness that is exceptional for all. And bind people together in love. Remember North Carolina Central University leaders who inspired you. Pray to God, the God of all faiths, for strength. Go forth and serve. Put truth and service at the top of your list and keep them there. Congratulations. Next, greetings will be given by the Vice Chairman of the NCCU Board of Trustees, Mr. John Brabi, President of the Graduate Students Association, Ms. Olivia Saints, and President of the Student Bar Association, Ms. Avians D. Brown. To Chancellor Akalehi, administrators, our guest speakers, Mr. Sellers, and the honorees of the hour, members of the class of 2018, good afternoon. I welcome everyone here today on behalf of the North Carolina Central University Board of Trustees. The board extends its very special congratulations to this group of students receiving their advanced degree in our graduate and professional commencement ceremony. As a board of trustee member, we are tasked with a wide range of responsibilities in guiding the North Carolina Central University. But rest assured that everything we do is in pursuit of a single goal, providing a high quality education and ensuring the success of our student eagles. We're here today doing one of my favorite things, celebrating the men and women who have achieved greatness in educational achievement. Most people never make it to this level. 
Note this, fewer than 10% of Americans hold a master's degree and only 1.5% have earned a professional's degree beyond a bachelor's levels. Board of Trustees, sincerely admire and appreciate each of you for your persistence and hard work in crossing this extraordinary milestone. We also want you to know we have confidence that leaving North Carolina Central University, you will apply this new obtained knowledge to accomplish your aggressive goals in society. In your roles as biologists, mathematicians, musicians, historians, counselors, teachers, business administrators, attorneys, and many more, you will have the knowledge and the power to help make our world a better place for everyone. As graduating NCCU Eagles, we urge you to hold fast to the ethic of truth and service by serving the underserved and caring for your fellow women and men. As you walk across this stage, you will join a network of Eagle alumni, many of whom have done great things around the world. We hope that you will take advantage of this outstanding alumni network that is here for you. Stay in touch with your alma mater, help provide our younger Eagles with a, with a strong role model for extraordinary achievement. Best wishes to you and to your families as you embark on your next journey. Again, congratulations, class of 2018. Good afternoon to Chancellor Akinlele, Board of Trustees members, platform guests, faculty, staff, alumni, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2018. When you were a freshman in college, four years to reach your graduation date seemed very far away. And when you began your graduate or professional degree, you likely thought that you would never see the day or that it seemed too remote. But here we are with your degrees completed and wondering really how time flies. My name is Olivia Sings, president of the North Carolina Central University Graduate Student Association. Reflecting on the association's motto, success through teamwork. Teamwork is the effective collaboration of a group of people to obtain a goal. Today, all of you have achieved your goal at NCCU with familiar support, professors, colleagues, in various study groups. It is often said that it takes a village to raise a child. However, I believe my fellow graduates would take the proverb a step further by knowing that it takes a village to achieve any goal, regardless of your stage in life. As children, our first academic challenge was to learn our ABCs. Yet, we did not see it as a challenge, but as a very cool song to learn. We never considered that we would not learn our ABCs. We just believed that we could and we would. I would like to encourage you to tap into your inner child when it comes to the goals you have set for yourself. And if you will allow me, I would like to teach you some new ABCs to use when pursuing your next goal. A for abilities, B for breaks, C for challenges. First, I want you to use your abilities to position yourself to be ready to seize unexpected breaks that come along the way. And second, navigate yourself to soar above any challenges as you pursue your goals throughout life. Let your abilities get you there, your breaks remind you to give others grace, and your challenges to remind you exactly who you are. In case you need to be reminded, you are North Carolina Central University alumni. You are an eagle. We have all now discovered what is central to us. And as you conclude your academic tenure here at NCCU, I challenge you to help someone else realize what is central to them. Again, congratulations, class of 2018. <laughs> Greetings. Chancellor Akinleye, Dean Craig Taylor, Board of Trustees, Mr. Sellers, faculty, staff, family, and graduates. 
I am Aviance Brown, president of the Student Bar Association at the North Carolina Central University School of Law. On behalf of the law school, I welcome you all to the spring 2018 commencement exercises. Graduates, today is our day. Three or more long years of reading and briefing cases, drafting memos, hoping to make it into the C curve, and most importantly, praying that the dreaded Socratic method doesn't get you cold called in class has finally come to an end. Legal Eagles, today your JD has been freed. <laughs> Our time together here at NCCU has taught us that we don't have to forge this journey alone. None of us live in autonomy. All of our stories are connected. We are creating a tapestry of humanity telling one grand story. Fate brought each of our stories together right here at our dear old NCC. We are now dependent upon each other for our success. I take great comfort in knowing that no matter where we go in life, we can always come back to this chapter of our story for a helping hand. To my fellow Legal Eagles and all of the graduates here today, remember that you are an eagle. Through truth and service, we soar. On behalf of the law school, congratulations class of 2018. Thank you. Thank you. We are joined today on the stage by a number of people whom I'd like to acknowledge and introduce. Please stand when I call your name. I ask that you hold your applause until all the names have been called. To my right and your left, Mr. Gary Brown, Interim Vice Chancellor, Division of Student Affairs. Mr. John Babi, Vice Chair, NCCU Board of Trustees. Mr. Bakari Salas, our 131st Commencement Speaker. Mr. Robert Bartley, Interim Vice Chancellor, Administration and Finance. Dr. Harriet Frank Davis, Vice Chancellor, Institutional Advancement. Dr. Philip Matissio, Faculty Senate Chair. Mr. Samuel Cooper, President, NCCU Alumni Association. Dr. Jerome Goodwin, University Registrar. You may give them a round of applause. And to my left, your right, Dr. Carlton Wilson, Interim Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Dr. M. Levan Reed, University Marshal. Attorney Phyllis Craig Taylor, Dean, School of Law. Dr. Deborah Parker, Dean, College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. Dr. Veronica Mwosu, Interim Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. John Gant, Dean, School of Library and Information Sciences. Dr. Audrey Beard, Dean, School of Education. Dr. Wanda Lester, Interim Dean, School of Business. Dr. Jale Raze, Dean, School of Graduate Studies. Reverend Sarah Woodard, Dean, Deacon, St. Titus Episcopal Church. Ms. Olivia Sings, President, Graduate Student Association. Ms. Aviance D. Brown, President, Student Bar Association. Dr. Ralph Barrett, Platform Marshal. Please give them a round of applause. I now offer a special welcome to any elected officials and members of the clergy. Give them a warm applause, please. The University of North Carolina Board of Governors, a board that provides leadership over the UNC system 
of schools. If there are other current or former members present, will you please be, stand and be recognized? Members of the UNC Board of Governors. Let's give them a round of applause then. <laughs> NCCU Board of Trustees are dedicated individuals who keep our institution operating as a high quality global university. Mr. George Hamilton, our chairman, and Mr. John Barbie, vice chairman, lead by example. Will all current and former members of the Board of Trustees please stand at this time wherever you may be in the auditorium. Please give them a warm round of applause. Thank you. Will all retirees of North Carolina Central University here please stand and be recognized. All retirees. Give them a round of applause, please. Thank you. <laughs> Members of the North Carolina Central Foundation Board, will you please stand and be recognized? Give them a warm round of applause, please. <laughs> we thank all of you for joining us this afternoon. At this time, we will now hear a selection from NCCU University Choir, led by Ms. Roberta Law's conductor. CCU University Choir and Ms. Roberta Laws another warm round of applause. Thank you.
At this time, I have the pleasure of introducing our commencement speaker, Mr. Bakari Sellers. At an early age, Mr. Sellers knew the value that education would have in shaping his life and helping him to realize his dreams. Born the son of Cleveland and Gwendolyn Sellers, Mr. Sellers was raised in Denmark, South Carolina, and matriculated through the South Carolina public school system. He went on to attend Morehouse College, where he served as Student Government Association President and graduated at the age of 20. Two years later, at age 22, Mr. Sellers became the youngest elected state official in the nation when he began serving in the South Carolina State Legislature. During his tenure, he made advocating for education a priority. In 2010, Time Magazine profiled Mr. Sellers as one of its 40 under 40 to watch. When asked who is his political hero or inspiration is, he answered, and I quote, my father, his search for social justice and equality, as well as his never-ending desire to attain the highest level of education possible, is my number one inspiration, end quote. A civil rights activist and retired college professor, his father, Dr. Salas, served as president of all his college one of six four-year historically black colleges and universities in South Carolina. A practicing attorney, Mr. Sellers is frequently a guest speaker and lecturer and currently serves as a regular CNN contributor where he lends his voice as a commentator on many of today's issues from politics to pop culture. It is my pleasure to welcome to our midst and to deliver the commencement exercise. Please join me in welcoming with a warm eagle applause, Mr. Bakari Sellers. Good afternoon. I am from the big city of Denmark, South Carolina, where we have three stoplights and a blinking light. And my mom and dad would always tell me that the two most important words in the English language were the words, uh, thank you. And they are not nearly said enough. And so uh, before I begin, I want to thank uh, your chancellor, members of the faculty and board of trustees, uh, distinguished guests, family, and graduates. You know, since I've been invited to speak at today's commencement, I have received uh, two pieces of advice about my remarks. The first is that delivering a commencement address is a lot like being the body at a weight. They stick you in the middle of the room, but deep down, they really don't want to hear a lot from you. <laughs> and the second was a reminder to always adhere to the five B's, be brief, brother, be brief. <laughs> and so today I'm going to treat all of you all like Elizabeth Taylor treated all seven of her husbands, and that means I'm not going to keep you long. <laughs> I have to give a special shout out to our law school graduates. It was just 10 years ago that I sat in those same seats. And so... I don't really know what you're cheering for because bar exam prep starts on Monday. <laughs> but it is a great honor to be here today and to not only share in this celebration, but to offer my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2018. To the family and friends who join us today, congratulations. Today's celebration is as much for you as it is for the graduates. Because of your support and your encouragement, these young men and women have done something truly remarkable. 
share in their celebration at this and all future triumphs made possible here today. In addressing the graduates of Dartmouth College in 2002, Fred Rogers, the man behind Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, remarked that anyone who has ever been able to sustain a good work has had at least one person and often many who had believed in him or her. We just don't get to be competent human beings without a lot of different investments from others. Mr. Rogers was absolutely right. So let us take a moment to thank all of those whose guidance, encouragement, and even more importantly, just simple faith in these graduates made today possible. Now, uh, to the graduates, let me congratulate you on this achievement, realizing a success that has been years in the making. This is a rare and special moment, so I want you to enjoy it. I want you to cherish this feeling of accomplishment and confidence because it slips away when you're not looking and it's almost impossible to get back once it's gone. Our expectations for you, every single one of you, all of you, are high but that's the price of success. And don't look at me, you did it to yourselves. You see, there's a story I've always loved about South Carolina's own smoking Joe Frazier that oddly enough, I believe, fits here surprisingly well. You see, before Frazier was heavyweight champion of the world, he was just another amateur with potential. Aggressive and strong with an uncanny ability to take a punch and keep going. He won three Golden Glove heavyweight championships in his three years as an amateur. In fact, he won all of his amateur bouts except one, a split decision loss to Buster Mathis. So when he had the opportunity to avenge that loss by squaring off against Mathis in the 1964 U.S. Olympic Trials Finals, he was more than just a little excited. Unfortunately, that excitement got the better of his training, and during the match, he fell back into his old habit of leading with his head. As you can imagine, Mathis took full advantage of this and landed a never-ending string of punches to Frazier's head and face, easily winning the match and securing his spot in the Tokyo Olympics. Now, as you might imagine, Joe was just a little more than disappointed. Not only had he lost his chance to fight on the biggest stage in the world, but he lost to his bitter rival. Needless to say, he was not taking it well as he sat in his hospital bed recovering from the fight considering giving up boxing for good. So when his trainer, Yank Durham, came walking and whistling and grinning ear to ear, it irritated Frazier to no end. And Frazier tore and tore him. He called Durham just about every nasty name you can imagine before asking, what do you have to be so happy for anyway? And Durham took the abuse in stride and just kept on smiling as he explained that he was thinking about all the fun he was gonna have in Tokyo. And maybe you saw a different fight from last night, Joe said, but we ain't going to Tokyo, Buster is. Shows what you know, Durham said, explaining that despite his loss, Frazier would be fighting in Tokyo instead of Mathis because Mathis was medically disqualified. He hit you so many times in the head last night, Durham laughed, that he broke his hand and now he can't fight. <laughs> Frazier went on to win gold in Tokyo. He knocked out a boxer from Uganda in the first round and KO'd a boxer from Australia 40 seconds into the third round and by the semifinals he was the only American fighter left when he TKO'd the bigger and stronger Soviet fighter breaking his own thumb in the process. But he fought through the pain and defeated Hans Huber in a 3-2 to two decision to become that year's only American Olympic boxing gold. And now see graduates, I tell you that story for two reasons. One, because I can't think of a better way to describe graduate school than enduring a relentless series of blows to the head that leave you beaten, bewildered, <laughs> and in a position to make history. And two, because it demonstrates what is possible when a prepared mind and body finds opportunity and absolutely refuses to quit. Of course, that intersection of training and time is, is exceedingly rare in this life. But this is the most important part of this. So are you. You're more rare than you even realize. And so let's do the numbers. Facts still do matter. <laughs> right now, there are a little over, a little more than two million college graduates in North Carolina, and of those two million, only a third 
around 690,000 have graduate or professional degrees. And of those, only a little over 96,000, roughly 14% are black. Now apply that to the total population and you see that represents less than 1% of North Carolinians and only about 0.6% of Americans. Add to that everything we else, else we know about infant mortality and poverty rates, youth violence, cultural bias and standardized testing and all the other impacts of systemic institutional racism and it becomes clear that not only are many of you all a statistical anomaly, but you're a miracle. Now, I don't, I don't say that to discount the work you put in to rise to this moment any more than I'd criticize a rose that grew out of concrete for its scratched stems and damaged petals, but rather to celebrate your will to reach the sun. You are living, breathing examples that the age of miracles has not passed, that this is still the land of opportunity, even if you have to work longer and harder to find it. And the miracle is not just in your achievement against the odds, but also in the moment this moment that hangs pregnant with change and possibility. Think about the fact that right now Facebook has more active monthly users than any nation save India and China has people. Google sees over a hundred billion searches every month. Twitter sees more than 500 million tweets every day. One out of every six couples married in the United States over the past three years met online. Still hope for some of y'all. And 65% <laughs> And 65% of children in kindergarten today will earn their living as adults working jobs that don't even exist yet. From medical science and technology to cultural expectations and climate change, our nation, our entire world is in a state of upheaval, the likes of which we haven't seen since the Industrial Revolution. And while the generation to come will realize this new world, this generation, our generation, your generation will define it. And you graduates now have the talent and the training to lead this generation to mold and shape it in a more perfect image that appeals to the best within us. You will be the ones in the classrooms, the courtrooms, the boardrooms, and the labs. You will be the ones who set government policy on hiring practices and pay equity. You will decide how sexual harassment and discrimination is not only reported but addressed. You will set new standards to how our law enforcement engages with the communities they've sworn to protect and serve and what we do when those standards are violated. You will define who we are not only as a nation but as a people, but only if you choose to accept this responsibility. And the choice isn't easy or safe. It isn't easy because throughout history there have always been those who sought to turn the clock backwards. They're the ones who replaced the progress we made under Reconstruction with the subrogation of Jim Crow. They're the ones who exploited sharecroppers and immigrants for cheap labor, who built the factory towns that trapped workers in an endless cycle of debt, who sent women back into the kitchen when the men came home from World War II and launched a war on drugs whose casualties are exclusively poor, uneducated, and black. They're the ones who make fortunes off of private prisons, military contracts, student debt, and assault rifles in the hands of murderers, and they will not go gently into the good night. They will fight with everything they have and their resources will far outmatch your own. But where you can win, where you must win, is in your boundless energy and your numbers. And if you choose, you will overwhelm them until they break their own hands with their punches and render themselves irrelevant because there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Remember that throughout history, the one thing Americans have always demonstrated a true talent for is exceeding expectations. What we do better than anything else or anyone else is what others say cannot be done. When they claimed a ragtag bunch of backwoods colonial hicks could never bring the might of the British Empire to heel, that is exactly what we did. When they said that we couldn't preserve a democracy through civil war, that is what we did. When they told us we couldn't mobilize and arsenal of democracy quickly enough to stand against Hitler, we did. When they told us we couldn't put a man on the moon, that we wouldn't win the space race with the Soviet Union so far ahead, we did. And when they told us we would never elect a black man president while we still bore the scars of segregation, that's exactly what we did. Lighting a torch of freedom whose light shines still for all of the world to see. 
and that torch, it still shines, and that is what we pass to you today. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to dare greatly and fail. Don't be afraid to aim high and fall short. Don't be afraid to be the miracles that you already are. And don't forget to call your moms because they worry about you. Thank you, congratulations, now let's go give them hell. Let's, let's, um, let's give Mr. Sellers another round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Sellers, you have inspired and challenged our graduates to reach higher and take their dreams even further. Thank you for being an example of this university's motto of truth and service. By being, as you once said, a voice for the voiceless, a model for generations who follow you. We thank you for being here today. Thank you. Next, we'll have the interim provost, Dr. Carlton Wilson, to approach the podium. Good afternoon. Will all students graduating with honors please stand? North Carolina, North Carolina Central University is proud to congratulate all of its graduates and to offer gratitude to all those who have made this day a momentous occasion for them. We pause now to especially recognize those students who have excelled academically, placing them in the special classification of honor students. You are the best of the best. <laughs> to you, honor students, we say thanks for your high academic achievement. We celebrate that achievement as you fulfill the essential purpose of graduate and professional education and inspire those who follow you. From the introduction of the first graduate program in 1939, graduate and professional education at this institution has grown tremendously while remaining true to its primary mission of academic excellence and education for service. It is your good fortune to be here today as beneficiaries of a legacy, of a vision, of sacrifice, and achievement. As attorneys, as social workers, as educators, as researchers, you are now expected to be members of the academy who will be the leaders in shaping your fields, creating new knowledge, and finding solutions that will address the world's complex problems. To be an honor student, you accept that challenge. Indeed, you embrace it. We know that you will continue to move forward. Be aggressive. Innovate. Challenge. This is the mentality of an NC Central Honor graduate. Again, on behalf of an extremely dedicated faculty and staff, congratulations on your outstanding academic achievement and performance, and may you continue to soar with the Eagle family. Thank you. Please be seated. <laughs> Chancellor Accolade. It is indeed my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled 
have qualified in all respects for degrees by successfully completing curricula offered by the several graduate and professional schools of North Carolina Central University and have been certified by the registrar and recommended by the faculty and the board of trustees to be awarded the appropriate graduate and professional degrees. With the summa cum laude candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Music, Master of Public Administration, Master of Social Work, Master of Sciences, Masters of Business Administration, Masters of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of School Administration, Master of Information Science, Master of Library Science, and the Juris Doctorate, please stand and remain standing. Summa cum laude. Would the, would the magna cum laude candidates in those same degree programs stand and remain standing? Magna cum laude. Would the cum laude candidates in those same degree programs stand and remain standing? Cum laude. Would all other candidates for the same degree programs please stand and remain standing? All candidates. <laughs> Chancellor, it is with pleasure that I present these candidates who have successfully completed all the requirements for graduation in their respective academic programs. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the respective schools and colleges of the university, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of North Carolina Central University and the Board of Governors of the University of North Carolina, I do hereby confer upon each of you the degree for which you have qualified with all the rights privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to bring forward Dr. J. Lee Rize, Associate Provost and Dean of Graduate Studies. Good afternoon. Will the candidates for master's degrees in all colleges and schools please stand? It's time for the hooding process, so please stand. Turn and hood the person to your right.
Thank you. That was great. All hooded now. Please be seated. Dr. Veronica Nusu, Interim Dean of College of Arts and Sciences, please come forward. Will the candidates for Master of Arts, Master of Music, and Master of Science in the College of Arts and Sciences, please come to the platform, move to the platform. Lois I. Murphy. Alasia J. Hasty. Brandon K. Mitchell. Brandon D. Lane. Natalie J. Wellis. Lance J. Garrett. Zachary Gossett. Jaresto O. Alexander II. Tonelia A. Mowat. Maya A. Barrow. <laughs> Oluwatabi O. Olagoki. Chioma C. Aziz. Ab Abdelatif Mujahid. Sierra D. Gilliam. Byron E. Fandiora. Perfecte J. Precaution. Uluwasan Apaye Abadun. Hayford Edo Shio Jaji Congratulations, please be seated. Dr. Deborah Parker, Dean of College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. Will the candidates for the degrees, Master of Arts, Master of Public Administration, Master of Science and Master of Social Work, please move to the platform. Raina A. Tyson. 
Lori B. Bryant. Delia Pemberton Farrington. Bernard Watson, Jr. Emma N. Perry. Nikki A. Lyles. Josiane F. Bacham. Sarah A. Harris. Dominique L. Walker. Jordian Heron. Ashley D. Eatman. Anjanae M. Green. Terry L. Ames. Kean A. Furness. Theodore L. LaPere. Rochelle R. Pittman. Daniel M. Nobles. Cedric Michael Coleman. Brennan J. Cousins. Naisha J. Franklin. Amina in weeks. Fatima R. Nubi. Jasmine K. Boyd. Darren J. Corbin. Jamika Watson. <laughs> Hannah P. Chesterton. Kendall J. Durrington. Amelia D. Dunn. Taylor C. Allen. Alexius M. Pearson. Janisha C. Manns. Crystal L. Giles. Khadija S. Nunn. Genesis N. Smith. Vondell Davis. Stephen A. Quimbley. Kimberly M. Robertson. Latanja M. Williams. Shawan S. Lee. Martha Bacadana Alba. Alicia L. Bixler. Samantha K. French. Courtney Ramsey Coleman. 
Allison S. Bryant. Jasmine S. Murphy. Raven L. Bynum. Dondrika K. Rouse. Tamarius L. Leach. Fatia A. Black. Shanice S. Brown. Larry D. Player. Laura N. Johnson. David R. Murray Jr. Vincent L. Gibbs. Wesley Clark. Santise L. Pryor. Jonathan M. Huff. Kanisha T. Seifert. Cameron J. Smith. Amanda D. Smith. Carol N. Allison. Elisa G. Rumor. Cleo L. Francis. Christina N. Jones. Ariel S. Council. Krenisha J. Gaunt. Kalasia Dunlap. Melissa R. Black. Willie A. Hatch. Rebecca A. Jester. Kalina R. Bloodcloud. Vivian Hurlston Gonzalez. Kylie B. Marsala. Lynette D. Thompson. Deontay A. Barfield. <laughs> Renasha Christmas. Jennifer M. Moorhead. Kirsten Eubanks. Adrian L. Yor. Shauna Moore. Tamika Harper Purcell. Lakia N. Buchanan. Lashonda C. Meadows. Jacina R. Hull, Hull. Marcia Frazier. Yeah. 
Christine Yawawa. Vaniqua Hines. Kenneth R. Freeman II. Brandon S. Douglas. Sierra S. Dobbs. Tremaine J. Riley. Daniqua M. Watkins. Wanda F. Addo. Gabriela Lopez. Antonia K. Rover. Kelsey S. Walker. Jessica D. Fields. Shanicia Taylor. Chelsea A. Glover. Crystal D. Bullard. Taja M. Johnson. Winter M. Arrington. Chelsea M. Hayes. Sierra A. Barnett. Desiree S. Williams. Brittany L. Witherspoon. Matea N. Hardy. Tisha N. Dixon. Jasmine S. Griffin. Shakita D. Canty. Amari Y. Hartsfield. Jerlisa R. Scott. Courtney J. Rice. Apia Larbe. Donika Ronika Dorima Dashawn Rawlings Shatira K. Pender Shantae V. Johnson Maria Flores Estrada Brittany N. Lassiter. Olivia May Winstead. Dana Meredith Harris. Joseph W. Barnes III. Jetta C. Grant. Ashley N. Griffith. Brittany A. Brown. Lakia A. Teal. Latriana M. Dimps. 
Monica H. Williams. Tanya A. Little. Alawashi Joko Bola. Tandra A. Little. Nikki Roberts. John J. Brown, Jr. Charles L. Ashley, Jr. Taekwon T. Lynch. Terrell Triana Poe. Congratulations, please be seated. Dr. Wanda Lester, Interim Dean of the School of Business. Will the candidates for the Master of Business Administration please move to the platform? Devin B. Mercer! Aaron Cosby, Malcolm E. German, Clinton Jones, Lawai Obidat, Kayla S. Smith. Darnella D. Reader. Justin Miller. Trenton Alford. Okay. Christian Williams. Jasmine Glassby. Okay. Sherry R. Ross. Congratulations. Please be seated. Dr. Audrey Beard, Dean of School of Education. Will the candidates for the Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of School Administration, and Master of Science in the School of Education, please move to the platform.
Kristen M. Jones. Heather L. Nickel. Chip Hilton. Melissa Ann Katachka. Monique J. Daniels. Mary C. Harris. Francesca I. Terry. Shamrika Turrentine. Sharika and Lee. Kelsey F. Bay. Kimberly H. Brandon. Alicia Hughes. Marshall King. Angelique K. Marshall King. Judith Johnson Hustler. Madison J. West. Verna J. Eberhardt. Jasmine L. Plummer. Kelsey Gelhausen. Joelle A. Wildman. Lindsay Marie Frazier. Rachel M. Zorek. Mary Oliver. Megan Ferry Wilkinson. Reagan F. Spring. Nicole P. Roach. Priscilla N. George. Rashia N. Rigsby. Megan M. Hayes. Lakshmi Marilidon. Corey S. Gwen. Camille R. Hampton. Cheyenne D. Williams. Destiny F. Rogers. Ashley Bonini. Hajar Booktab. Valeria Saldivar. Nicole M. Mack. Bree M. Carnes. Juliet J. Bourgeois Bowen. Jessica A. Hugo. Jamie R. Jackson. Shantia Y. Hayes. 
Jaquel D. Green. Jessica Faison Johnson. Oh, yes, I do. Brittany Octavia Chambers. Velda V. Bell. Ryan R. Bell. Amber Denise Womack. Kaishan L. Mack. Shaquille Cooper. Thank you. Akinya McGee. Tyler S. Suit. Chinjalu. Brittany D. Teague. Tawana G. Stewart. Winnie Lamech. Xavier J. Wallace McGrew. Congratulations. Please be seated. Dr. John Gant, Dean of School of Library and Information Sciences. Will the candidates for the Master of Information Science and the Master of, of Library Science please move to the platform? April Rosser. Jennifer A. Willis. Congratulations, thank you. Eric D. Kilpatrick. Congratulations, yep, thank you. Keith H. Newsom Jr. We didn't forget about you this time. Congratulations, all right. Alvin Phillips. Hey, congratulations. Adidapa F. Adeyemme. Congratulations. Thank you. Cute Button. You can't smile any larger. Congratulations. Sparshini Thota. Congratulations. Thank you. Made it. Katri. Great job. Sukjit Kaur. Hey, congratulations. Great job. Dina Muhammad Ali. Benedetta Adams. Dina, congratulations. Great job. Jemiah J. Williams. Hey, congratulations. Lee Cromarty. Congratulations. Yep. Angela R. Martin. Hey, how are you? Congratulations. You. Great job. Joshua Y. Walker. Brianna J. Daniel. Lauren Odom. Congratulations. Kalisha A. Teal. Hey, congratulations, 
Deja M. Cagle. Congratulations, great job. Michael A. Boykin. And the candidates may be seated. Thank you. Congratulations to all the graduates. Job well done. Will the candidates receiving their Juris Doctor degree in the School of Law please stand? Please hood the person to your right. Your other right. Legal Eagles, please approach the platform. Rachel A. Delos. Loretta Charles. Shadari D. Douglas. Cindy S. Foster. Tyler A. Ellis. Atia S. Cluck. Jasmine J. Nettles.
Robert J. Lane. Thank you so much. I love you. Latoya A. Tyson. Alexis S. White. Sierra. Excuse me. Let me say that. Sierra N. Spellman. Aviance D. Brown. Alexandra M. Cornelius. Akisha L. Resper. Tiara L. Kazee. Miriam Johnson. Raylan Muse. Salon L. Hosey. Bobby W. Scarborough. Cheyenne Van Leeuwen. Okay. Salam D. Mogos. Lamardo P. Davis. D. Chantel R. Singleton. Guanya Lu Jordan L. Zachman Stephen C. Vernell Samantha C. Verney Barry W. Hocking Jr. <laughs> Latricia C. Cherry Lassiter. <laughs> J. Omega L. Walker. Alicia E. Lewis. William Ayers. Kia S. McCormick. Barbara A. Kirkwig. Michael A. Boykin. Ashley D. Scaff. Mel A. Goodwin. Barbara L. Kearney. Victor DiMarco. Edward F. Chase. Laura B. Chase. Susan L. Downs. William C. Dawson. Norma J. Perdomo. Michael A. Jones. James A. Hammond. Patrice S. Goldman.
Jasmine B. Brunson. Thank you. Thank you, Kalisha A. Teal. Kendra L. White. Aaron V. Verdell. Sherry R. Russ. Jasmine B. Glassby. Edgar Jimenez. William H. Breeze. Ingrid N. Robinson. Amanda W. Bost. Rachel Y. Chang. Hoy Y. Baxter. Kyle W. Sherrod, Jr. Matthew M. Sessions. Jasmine M. Reese. Khadija C. McNeil. Taylor L. Timmons. Rodney D. Miles. Antoine L. Coleman, Jr. Armani D. Bridges. Ebony M. Elm. Jamisa D. Parker. Alicia S. Mills. Chua Lo Yang. Tori J. Cotman. Juliana K. Jeffries. Esther Esterlin A. Paulino. Jeffrey A. Canada. Deandra A. Herndon. Zoe K. Forrester. Cody L. Boykin. Christian E. Williams. Deja M. Cagle. Daryl Fergus Jr. Justin K. Williams. Jamal D. James. Hollis L. Clark the second. A Lewis J. Watford. Chaquez T. McCall. 
Brandon K. Satterwhite. Dante J. Wright. Cedric A. Pickett. Adam J. Whitaker. Irisha A. Hotnet Sartin. John M. Harris, Jr. Joshua Sotomayor. Coy R. Curry. Celia L. Crab. Jane Bonza Haben. Paulo B. Martinez. Jacob A. Cooper. Grayson D. Whitaker. Taylor M. Hudson. Olivia Izzy. Catherine S. Webb. Robert A. Brightweiser III. Tiffany N. Lawson. Lance M. Foster. Martin J. Forrest IV. Jonathan D. Kerr. Eric B. Odom. Audrey G. Anthony. Benjamin T. McLawhorn. Congratulations, Legal Eagles, and please be seated. All right. With all graduates, all graduates who have received their degrees at these exercises, please stand to be recognized with one last round of applause. Please stand, all of you. Congratulations. 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 Please be seated. Mr. Samuel Cooper, President of the North Carolina Central University Alumni Association, will now conduct the induction ceremony for the spring 2018 graduates. Mr. Cooper, please approach the podium. Good afternoon. Chancellor Accolade, first of all, uh, on behalf of the North Carolina Central University Alumni Association, we would like to congratulate the class of 2018 and welcome 
to the Eagle alumni family. If the graduates would be so kind as to stand as we take our pledge. And if you would, repeat after me. And let's try to get this in unison. I hereby solemnly pledge unbroken allegiance to my alma mater. In appreciation for the opportunities for development. Afforded me as a student at North Carolina Central University. I pledge active membership in the Alumni Association wherever I may be. Through, associate, through association with fellow alumni, I shall ever do my best to uphold the ideals and traditions of my alma mater. I pledge as a citizen to exemplify high ideals thus implied, seeking truth always, rendering positive service to community, state, and nation, and so to live as ever to bring honor and respect to my alma mater. Congratulations. Welcome. You may be seated. Thank you. Graduates, today the advanced degree that you have earned has placed a stamp in your passport, a passport to future professional careers and personal achievements. We live in times that are both challenging and provide tremendous opportunity for us to present solutions to some of the world's most pressing problems. Our global connectivity, combined with your innovative ideas and intellectual curiosity, will fuel breakthroughs in areas from mental health care, cancer research, and law to social work and to business, and the arts and public policy, to name a few. The passport you carry comes with a promise the Eagle Promise that grants you access to see and explore territories of undiscovered potentials as you embark on the next chapter of your life and prepare to take flight. Always remember to soar in the principles of truth and service. As you turn the pages of your life, make each chapter count and be an opportunity to pursue a new goal. And remember that North Carolina Central University will always be home and an important stop on your voyage to the future. Remember the eagle it's no ordinary Banyard Fowl. North Carolina Central University, from all of us, our faculty, our current students, our staff, alumni, Board of Trustees, we now bid you farewell and we wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Eagles. 
fly high. At this time, please stand for the singing of the alma mater and remain standing for the retiring of the callers.
God of all faiths, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon all those who graduate today. Bless their lives from this day forward with goodness and love. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. Now go in peace to love and to serve. Amen. Chancellor Akinleyi, with your permission, I declare our 131st commencement exercises closed. The processional.